Being raised by cow men, you know, uh, it, the, uh, a cutting horse was uh, the most important horse on the ranch. You know, and I can only speak from my own experiences, but when I started, I was about 15 years old, so it was a while ago. And cutting was always about the horse. And it still should be and is, in my opinion, about the horse, about the cutting horse, not about the rider or how much they're doing on the horse. It's about the horse. And that's what I think endures and has endured over time. What makes a good cutting horse? Ooh. It's a lot of moving parts, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah. Let me say it's different. What did you look for in a horse that you wanted to work with? First thing was cow. Then he had to be an athlete. Then he had to be sound. And then he had to be smart. And you know, I've got a saying, there's something more important than IQ, and it's I will. And I want a horse that tells me I will. And I'd rather have him than a real smart horse that says, I walked. <laughs> so when I talked about taking a horse and going to the National Futurity, I was the lapping stock of the Pacific Coach, which is the seven Western states, you know. I said, you can't believe what this CIO, a CIO is a California improved donkey. You know, I said, they call me a CIO. What he thinks he's going to do. He's He's just dumb enough to take a horse. He's going to go to Texas to the, in the paternity. I learned different things from different people. Uh, I never worked for but one trainer in my whole life, and that was about four months for Sonny Rice. And he done some things that I really thought were could cut a cow as good as anybody. And I liked that, so I took part of that. Dick Gaines, he could throw, a, he could put a horse on a cow, and I mean, it was gorgeous. Uh, Bill Freeman could make these fabulous cuts. When I turned my non-pro card in, uh, Greg Welch, first show I went to, he said, what are you doing? Why, why did you turn your non-pro card in? And I said, well, I said, I just, you know, I said, I, I want to know if I'm good enough to do this, to compete and make it as a trainer. And he looked me square in the eye and he said, well, you're not. He said, you can't, you're not going to beat us. And I thought, well, you sound good. I said, I'll, I'll show you. You can cut this out, but I think, man, when he got a horseback where he could travel long distance, it started his nobility. And, and you never, ever seen a pretty horse that it didn't nearly attract everybody's eye. You know, I think a campfire and a horse had do, more to do with civilizing men than anything. My name is Buster Welch, and this is Stable Stats TV.